This is the opportunity that I have to talk to all of you. So, good morning again. And thank you. Thank you for taking the time to come to convention. With each day as your state PTA president, I have become even more grateful for each of you. It has been my honor and my privilege to serve as the president of the California State PTA. I've been so proud of the state board of directors, the entire board of managers, and our staff who worked so hard this year to raise the vis visibility of this organization and to listen to all of your concerns so that we could do a better job for you and help you achieve more at your PTA units. Throughout my term, I have had the opportunity to travel up and down and all around the state of California. This has given me a chance to meet with the heart, the heart of PTA. And that heart is our membership. Our memberships. And yes, that includes each of you. You are so willing to give your precious time for the children of California. I ask you, what more heart is there than PTA members? I look around the room at convention and I realize that I have had the opportunity to meet and to speak with many of you. You have kept me real. You need to know that you absolutely inspire me. You inspire me with your dedication and your commitment to children. You inspire me because even though the times are tough and, and you each still pick up and continue to fight for children. On our journey in PTA, we began a lot alike. Mine was when my oldest child boldly raised his hand in kindergarten and said, my mom will do it. <laughs> Have you been there? <laughs> so then he comes home all enthusiastic to tell me, or to tell you, because I know you, some of you have been there, that he has promised the teacher what I will do by tomorrow morning. <laughs> But looking into those hopeful eyes, we have lost the battle. There is no way that I or you is going to disappoint this child. And so that PTA journey begins. First with us wanting to make a difference for our own, and then that PTA path led you and me to wanting the same for all children. My faith, my faith in PTA is steadfast. PTA is a remarkable volunteer organization. For more than 112 years, PTA has given countless, countless hours willingly to benefit children. We must ensure our voice for children continues to be even stronger in the future. The best way we can do that is for each of us to commit to bringing in new members. It's not about the money, it's about the voices. There are people that tell me there are some units that only send in 15 names, because that's all we ask for to start a unit. We cannot fall into the pit of focusing on numbers. This is about voices for children. 
The more voices for children at your local schools, the more voices for children in California speaking on behalf of children, we need to continue to revitalize this organization and bring in new voices. We need to ensure that the voices that we bring in to PTA actually represents the diversity of the children we are committed to serving. It is only through our continual outreach and our willingness to speak up on critical issues that we can ensure that we will be known as the largest, most dedicated, volunteer, go-to organization in California for children. We must remind people that by joining PTA, they inherit a rich history of volunteer advocacy. By joining PTA, they have a greater opportunity to have a significant impact on children's issues at the local, the state, and the national level. By joining PTA, they ensure we have many voices speaking together on behalf of children. PTA is our vehicle for being heard on children's issues. What a term we have had. I don't have to remind you that the state is in the midst of incredible challenging times. Our economy is struggling. We have parents and families that are working harder than ever just to make ends meet. Our children's future California's future are threatened by deep budget cuts to education and other services. We have all answered the challenge by adding more to our plate. By collectively, we have raised our voices to speak up and protect children and those issues that affect them. We have seen unemployment skyrocket to the point that it is the highest that it has been in California for 26 years. The state budget is in a downward slide, and still the hopes, the dreams of children remain at the forefront of our volunteer work. We, we understand our responsibility. Children have hopes and dreams for the future. They are counting on the adults in our society to help them achieve that. So I see PTA members throughout California as the dream keepers. It is up to us to dedicate our time and our energy to ensure that all children have the opportunity to reach their greatest potential. Together, we can continue to send our message by making the connection to a viable, economic, healthy state and investing in our children. It is not just coincidence that during the years that California invested less money in education and less in services that support children, that our great state fell from fifth to seventh, and now I hear eighth in a position of the global economy. There is a direct relationship between investing in children and building that viable economy. Children of today are the workforce of tomorrow.